Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel Quantify Your Career. And today I'm going to be talking about my journey of how I got into quant finance and a little bit about my background. So it all started when I was interning at a stock broking firm in Mumbai, India. And uh, there I was selling currency derivatives and interest rate derivatives to prospective clients. So I was already kind of in the financial field because my degree was related to that. So I was in this waiting room of a bank where I was waiting for this VP of the Treasury Department to whom I had to pitch interest rate derivatives. So and I randomly opened up an ebook I had seen online. It was called My Life as a Quant by Emmanuel Derman. This was apparently a very highly rated book, but I did not know anything about what quant is or what qu quantitative finance is all about. But later I actually researched about Emmanuel Durban and uh, he was he's pretty reputed in the field. He would received a PhD in theoretical physics and he had got into quantitative finance thereafter. So that was the first time I actually got introduced to the world of quantitative finance and was immediately intrigued by the concepts. And some might call it nerdy, but the skills required to solve a problem in finance, it was truly fascinating. So I started reading a little bit about quant finance, but I didn't think of pursuing it until much later. Thereafter, I graduated with a degree in information technology and an MBA in finance and started my career in consulting, where I was working in the risk management division and our clients were banks uh, for whom we were managing their financial risk. This is when I also pursued my financial risk manager certification FRM by GARP. So this got me a lot more interested in risk management in the portfolio and investments area, which is when I moved to an investment management firm to pursue risk analytics for their portfolios. So while working on some data science and data analytics projects there, I realized I needed to brush up uh, my fundamental concepts of statistics and mathematics, which, is, which form a major part of data, AI and ML. And then I once again came across this field of quantitative finance, which combines four pillars, which are mathematics, statistics, programming and finance. And I was researching specifically the courses to pursue a career in this field. So I came across a lot of programs called financial engineering and computational finance and mathematical finance, which had which actually had pretty similar curriculums across across the board. I will also share some of the research I had done um, at the time on these courses in another video. So I came to the US in 2019 to pursue my master's in financial engineering at UCLA Anderson, and I graduated in 2020. I thoroughly enjoyed learning uh, about econometrics and fixed income and quantitative asset management, even machine learning, among other subjects in the curriculum. So after, uh, after graduation, um, I took up this uh, very different role for me, which was very niche and new for me, uh, which was a product manager role in an asset management firm. It was a great learning experience and um, post which uh, I moved to uh, doing quantitative research in the same form. So I look forward to, uh, to share my learnings and experiences with you all in the coming videos.